Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Poke Penguin. I hope you are all doing well and I hope you all enjoyed my previous video which was part one of this booster box opening. And as you can clearly see today, we will be continuing that booster box opening. Um, and before we get into it, I just wanted to show off the pulls again that we got from that previous video just because, you know, it's fun to see what one side got and maybe we can compare it with what the pulls on the next side are. Uh, maybe have like a mini, I guess, or more large scale kind of pack battle, I guess. A, a, a what side of the box are you battle? Um, place your bets below, I guess. But uh, just a review of what we got last time, we had this Chi Yu EX. This amazing Pikachu EX. I was very happy about that one. A Bramblin Art. Squawkabilly EX. Full Art. And a super odd gold card. It's gonna be really hard to top that that last one, the gold card, just because of how rare they are. But if we get the Foy Coco grocery shopping, I will be happy. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm just gonna take all these packs out, put them right over here so you can see that nice stack, and we'll put the booster box aside and we will get right into it with our first pack. I am still not familiar with uh, the ancient legendaries names, so just bear with me. I mean, maybe if we get one, then I'll know the name. Um, I think one is like Wo Chen, one is... Oh, I can't even remember. <laughs> I can't even remember. Um, they're cool designs. I really like them. I just... Their names are hard to stick in my head um, <laughs> to remember them, but let's see if we get anything good on this first pack. Maybe some first pack magic. So let's see, we got Electric Energy, Giraffe Rig, Great Ball, Relor, Quaxley, Pinkurchin, Trocolor, Giraffe Rye, Nimble Reverse. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, they got the first pack magic. We have a Miss Magius Art Rare. Sweet. I've always been a fan of Miss Magius and this is really, really cool. So I'm happy with that. And let's see if there's anything behind that. Nope, just a regular hollow paw mod. Um, we'll stick that right over here. <laughs> but uh, let's take another look at that Miss Magius. That's really nice. Can't really describe how that artwork, artwork is. It, I don't know. It's really nice though, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get that in a sleeve and we'll continue on our opening. There we go. I may be a little off in this video, a little lower energy than normal, or uh, stumbling on my words more, a little, little off because uh, I just came from a full day of work. I am filming this the same day that I normally work, uh, on a Thursday. Normally I film these videos on a Saturday so I'm well rested and you know I have the full energy. I normally film it at the start of the day and then get it up in the, the afternoon or mid or mid yeah, mid-morning. Uh, but I am not able to this weekend. I have some plans. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, and do it now, because why not? Another lightning energy, is that a sign for something good? Perhaps. Get them the, the wombo combo, just like we had last video. Let's see, Iono, Tandy Mouse, Luminous Energy. Ooh, and we too, we get the wombo combo. We have a Slowking EX, this is the Terraform. Super, super cool. Regular Psychic Terraform. Got some nice texture on there. Always glad to see these. And these are just like um, the triplet beat cards. You can kind of see through the, like the bottom section here, see through Slow King's body and everything. So they're keeping that up. I was, it wasn't just a Japanese card thing. So that's always nice. Let's get that in a sleeve as well. Well, this is already starting off uh, better than the other side because the other side, it was quite a dry spell before we got any pulls. But right now we already got two. And I think the average for the box, in terms of the art cards, I could be wrong. This is more what I've seen on videos online. Uh, most people get three of them. So I'm hoping that the Foy Coco is our third. If not, I might have to buy another booster box and the hunt will still be on. Um, maybe we'll make that a, a series or something. That'd be funny. Normally what happens when you have those chase cards is that they come out of nowhere. They come out where you least expect it. Like one of those tins that you spend 20 bucks on at Target or something. But maybe we'll get it from a booster box. 
you have a higher chance of, uh, of that happening. Um, so we'll see. Can we go for a third, or are we gonna be too greedy? Let's see, we have a water energy. Tanny Mouse, Satotl, Nasili, Fue Coco, that's who we're looking for. <laughs> Calamitous Snowy Mountain, Corvusquire, Artisan, Tadbulb, Reverse, Dino, Reverse, and a Low Kicks Regular Hollow. So that is the end of our streak. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, if I see a little off in this video, maybe my commentary isn't the most fluid, um, even though it's not really that fluid anyways. But um, just because I, I worked a full day and I'm, I'm a little sleepy, but that does not stop me from opening up Pokemon cards. <laughs> um, I have plans this weekend. Um, this weekend is actually Father's Day, so if there's any fathers watching this video, happy Father's Day. Um, hope it hope it's going well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, hang out with my dad for the day, so that's why I will not be able to film. And I think that is a very good reason not to film. <laughs> um, so yeah. Let's see if there's something fun in this pack. We have a Tinkatink Reverse, Calamitous Wasteland Reverse, and a Tyranitar Hollow. That's a cool hollow, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, I'm thinking maybe at the end of this video, um, I can do a little cut and uh, come back and maybe show you guys my filled out binder to the extent of what one booster box gives you. Um, maybe just to give someone some context of how much of the set you can complete with one booster box. We don't have the checklist just yet for this set that is on the ETB video, which I will be filming for the week after this, um, which I'm very excited about. I'm super pumped about that promo card that comes in it. Make sure to keep an eye out for that video to see it. Um, I'm really excited about it. So, ooh, this is our second full art of the box. I'm super happy with this. Lycanroc EX full art. Wow. I'm, I'm a little caught off guard. I wasn't expecting to get another full art. Um, I guess this means we won't get that uh, Iono full art, but that's fine. I don't, I don't mind that. Um, I'm not too crazed about that one as a, uh, compared to other people, I'm fine with the Lycanroc one. I am more of a Lycanroc day fan rather than night fan, but I am happy with this. I love the backgrounds that they do for the full arts. So this one, you know, the bright orange with the, with the red of the Lycanroc makes them stand out. I'm super happy with that. Um, one thing I will notice though with full arts in uh, this era compared to Sword and Shield, uh, let me see if I can get a close up. The outline of the full art Pokemon, it's like almost a grayish blue. In uh, Sword and Shield, it was a um, more of a silver, uh, which I kind of prefer, but I still like the way the full arts look. I'm still happy with that. I will always take a full art. Um, like I said, that means probably not going to get an Iono, unless that's our art rare, I want to say. And if it is, that would be cool, but... I'm not really chasing after that card, I'm chasing after Fue Coco. It's all about that little crocodile for me. <laughs> I don't care about the, the trainers as much as, uh, as some other people do. But that is fine. That is totally fine. <laughs> um, everyone has their own things that they want to collect. Um, I prefer more of the Pokemon based cards. I mean, that's the majority that we have with Pokemon cards. But all the rare ones I want are more of the Pokemon based rather than trainer based. But there are there are a couple of trainers that I really like. But I know there are people out there who primarily chase for all those trainer full arts and alt arts and all that fun stuff. Um, everyone collects in their own way. That's the fun part of this hobby, right? Um, yeah. One thing I wanted to mention when we pulled that slow poke, he is the psychic Terra, which is his normal typing. Which is, um, I guess good, but, uh, the new set that's coming out, Obsidian Flames, the one I'm not too, too crazy about, they do have Terraforms that don't match their normal abilities, so I think the Charizard is gonna be Dark-type, and I think that's gonna be really cool. I know, um, people who play the game are really excited for that. What? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not complaining, but, uh, what? 
Oh, you can't make this up. I'm, I mean, I'm happy. You guys saw my reaction with the last Pikachu. I was more than happy to get him. Now we have a second. <laughs> cool. I don't really know what to say about that. Um, I mean, I'm happy. I've never seen two two cards get uh, put in the in the same box. Two of the same same cards. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Is one in better condition than the other? Tell me in the comments below. Is one better than the other? I think this one has better cutting on it. Check the edges, check the edges. Which one will be sent to PSA if I ever grade cards? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? I don't know. But <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that threw me off. I saw a shine when I was uh, doing the, the little card trick. So I'm like, all right, I got to wrap up this uh, this commentary on the different tarot types because we're going to get a hit. And I... <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be another Pikachu. <laughs> I'm I'm more than happy with that. I I as you guys can tell, I love Pikachu. So the more the merrier. I'm just uh, I'm happily caught off guard. <laughs> um, but as I was saying, for the the Terra types, um, in the next set, they have like a Charizard Dark type. They have a Tyranitar Electric, which I think is really cool. And I'm not sure if there's any others, but I do like that they're starting to play with the typing with the Terra because, oh, I'm never gonna be able to finish this conversation, am I? Um, this is one of the ancient legendaries. This is Wo Chine, I think it's Wo Chen, Wo Chine, EX, sweet, the slug man. <laughs> I'm happy with this. So this is gonna be our slot for the, uh, the art rare, which I'm fine with. This is a cool one. This is one that I was happy to get. I, out of the ancient legendaries, I would have preferred to get the um, the Chiyu one, just because I like the sunset background. But this one is really neat. Opening the set just makes me want to get them in the actual game. So maybe I'll I'll play that soon. But this is a really nice card. It reminds me of uh, of Dagoba from Star Wars. If anyone here is a Star Wars fan. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy about that. I love how he blends in with his surroundings. Just a nice overgrown area. That is a fantastic hit. <laughs> I keep on getting caught off guard with all these hits just because I'm in the middle of talking about something else. Um, maybe I'll just keep on talking and I'll keep on getting hits. I keep on talking about the different tarot types. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that, that is a great hit. I'm super, super happy about that. Um, I, I like him. I think my, my ranking for the, uh, those ancient legend legendaries are the, uh, there's Chiyu. I think Chiyu's my favorite because I think it's funny that's a little goldfish, a little fire goldfish. Then I like Wo Chen or Wo Chang. Um, I can't, and I don't know how to pronounce that. Then I like the little snow kitty with the fangs. I can't. I don't know his name off the top of my head. And uh, then I like the uh, the moose the last. But I mean, they're all pretty cool designs. So it's not like I have strong opinions over the other as we get another hit. Let me finish my sentence. <laughs> um, I don't have super strong opinions one over the other. But um, I think I think that's kind of how my tier goes. So I'm, I'm happy to get that one. And speaking of happy... I am happy to get these sandy gas. I am super, super happy to get this sandy gas. Um, if I wasn't in the middle of a conversation, I would have had more of a reaction. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting all thrown off today, but this is super cute. A little sandy gas in a little uh, play area at a, at a park or something, or at a school. All he wants to do is play. He's got all those cute little construction vehicles around him, all the toy, toy little dump trucks and stuff. It's super cool. He looks so sad. Someone go play with him. Someone build a sand castle with him. <laughs> um, I love uh, I love that they have the uh, the Pokedex at the bottom here. I think most cards have Pokedex under there, but they make it stand out more with these art cards, which I like. And I, I'm I am happy with this one, but unfortunately, I think that means we're not going to get Fue Coco. <sighs> it's it's sad. It's something it's something I will learn to handle, I guess. Uh, with these the rest of these packs I'll 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 make through <laughs> but uh, that just means that I'll have to buy more Paldea Evolve to get that Fue Coco or if anyone is interested let me know in the comments down below 
If you guys liked the triplet bee opening, maybe I can try and find a way to get my hands on another box. Um, I did take down um, the names of the companies that were at regionals and I know that they probably stock the uh, Japanese booster boxes. So if I could find one in stock and if people are interested, then maybe I'll open another one of the Japanese ones. Um, I don't know if anyone had a preference of which ones. It's it's a little bit easier with the English just because you can read what the Pokemon name is, but I feel like the Japanese ones are just a little bit higher quality. Um, the, the cardboard felt a little thicker and stuff like that, and I don't know if it's just, you know, me thinking that because it's coming straight from, you know, the origin of, of Pokemon, uh, the land of the rising sun, but, uh, or it's, or it's actually true than that, that they have better quality control. I do know that it is easier to grade Japanese cards because they have better quality control over there. But, um, I like both types. I think it was cool to open up the Japanese one. I still have the box and all the packs and stuff because I think it's cool. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. I mean, I, I will, I would prefer to see interest in the comments, not, you know, some people ask for comments for the clicks and stuff. I'm more asking this because I want to know what people are interested in. I want to show off things on my channel that people are interested in, people want to see. That's a cool spirit tube, by the way. Um, that's why I've been trying to get interactions down there. Um, I know, I know people put it in the comments down below what you think because they just want the clicks to push the video. I, I genuinely want to show off things uh, on this channel if I can get my hands on them that people will enjoy and people would like and, you know, want to see. I'll keep on doing what I pick out if uh, no one has a problem with it. I do have a few videos planned in advance, the ETB and then one more after that. Uh, so there will be a little bit waiting if there are recommendations, but if there if there is anything you genuinely want to see, something you want to see again, uh, like the Japanese booster box or maybe a Japanese booster box for future set or something like that Then just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to talk to you about it um, Talk about all your recommendations or what you want to see and I'll try and figure it out um, Yeah, I want to I want to make this a fun channel that you get to see stuff That you don't normally see I guess uh, if you were doing this by yourself because, you know, having a community helps figure out new things that you may not have known of. I mean, I wouldn't have known about the... Uh, oh, actually, that might be spoilers about my next video. I might not have known about what I'm going to do in my next video. <laughs> um, and we'll spoil that uh, if I didn't go to regionals um, and stuff like that. So there's always just fun stuff to see. I do want to open up older packs if I can on this channel just to show off some of the older art and everything, but it's really hard to get your hands on those booster boxes with the state of, you know, collecting and everything. There's way more collectors now than there were in the past, and I think the community's only growing, which is great, by the way. Don't take this the wrong way. Um, it just makes the price of the older boxes a little bit higher because now we have people with more money who are able to afford them. and. The demand is higher than the supply, obviously, because they're not printing these old sets anymore. So, of course, the the price is gonna jump up a little bit. It's fine. It's just how it is. It's part of the part of collecting. I do want to be able to get my hands on something that's a little bit older than Sword and Shield and even Sun and Moon. I do like Sun and Moon. I like the way the GXs look. Oops, I flipped that around. But uh. I'm a, I started collecting when I was really little in like the Diamond and Pearl era and the Platinum. Then I fell out of it, um, I think probably around Gen 5. And now that I'm back in it, I kind of want to open up those ones that I first started collecting in. I'm not even trying to get Wizards of the Coast cards, even though those would be really cool. I'm just trying to get, um, I'm just trying to get the cards that I grew up with. Is that so much to ask? <laughs> and uh, the final three. What do you know? It's the, the three starters. So we'll do it in order of um, of how they are. And I guess we'll keep the the um, Skeledurge one last. Just in case. Just in case there's a chance to get a Fuecoco. I am really, really crossing my fingers. But I, I've kind of accepted my fate that I don't think we're going to get one. Because like I said on YouTube, I saw most people... 
um, only get three per booster box. I don't even know if I saw anyone get four of those art cards. And I, for the um, super secret illustration rare, whatever it's called, I'm still getting used to all the, the new phrasing of everything. The, the Wo Chen card, um, that's one per box. So we got ours, obviously, um, which I'm happy with. But there are plenty of other ones that I really want. There's like the Skelly Dirge one where he's leaving the grocery store. Um, there's the uh, Chi Yu one that I want, uh, just because I like the way it looks. I feel like there's another one that I saw that I really, really like, but my brain's a little fried from work, so I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, uh, that just means I'll be opening up more on this channel, and I don't think anyone will be complaining about that. I do want to open up more of just Scarlet Violet base set because there are plenty of cards from that that I want. Like, uh, let's see, we got the Fido one. I want to get the Graveyard one. And I feel like there was another one that I really, really wanted. Um, there, that set's really big and really fun. So anything will make me happy, I guess. <laughs> anything new, anything added to my binder. Here we go. Um, speaking of the uh, ancient legendaries uh, earlier on in this video. This is one of the other ones. This is Chain Pao, Chain Pao. Um, I really wish I could pronounce these better for you guys. Um, it's just hard when you don't hear it audibly that much. Um, but this is really cool. I'm happy with this. Little, little snow kitty, snow uh, saber tooth tiger or something. He's super cool. I like that, I like that. I like how you can see his arm, you know, sticking out underneath. Makes, the, makes you feel like the artwork is a little bit more extended than it is. I like that. I like that. Chin pow, chin pow. I, I'm, I'm terrible at pronouncing things as it is. <laughs> so, uh, last pack, last pack. I think we have gotten a very good haul. So I'm not complaining. I'm just sad I didn't get Quay Coco, unless he is in this pack. I feel like, uh, Whenever you have a chase card like this, um, and same with the rainbow Pikachu that I really want. Whenever you have a chase card like that, you're gonna get every card other than the chase card that you want, which is really ironic. Um, or you're gonna get it from something silly like a $20 tin. So I hope I get it from something silly like a $20 tin, <laughs> rather than uh, spend a bunch of money on booster boxes and such. And this is our last card of the box. Let me rearrange everything and we'll do our little recap. I'll do a cut, fill up my binder, and I'll do a little binder tour of what you can get with one booster box, which I think will be fun. Something new. I didn't do this with any of my other past booster boxes, so I'm trying to keep things different, keep things unique. <laughs> um, I'm trying to put this in order of rarity right now. Um, and also personal preference. Because I feel like that's always, always something that impacts it. So we will, yeah, I think that's a good order to do. You can kind of see what order I'm already doing. It kind of spoils it, but that's fine. So how many pulls did we get overall? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We definitely got more on this side than we did the other side. However, the other side had the goal card. But let's see. Let's, let's take a gander of what we got. So we have... Pikachu EX again. <laughs> Chine Pao EX. Oops. <laughs> he went flying. <laughs> Sandy Gas, Art Rare. Miss Magius, Art Rare. Slow King EX. Lycanroc EX, Full Art. And also the Slow King was a Terra. And we have Wo Chen EX as the Super Secret Illustration Rare. This is the pull of this side of the box, the right side. Um, just for comparison on the other side, we had one, two, three, we had five. So this side had one more card, but, um, the other side had a gold card. So let me know in the comments down below, I guess, uh, which, which side was better. And also what do you want to see on this channel in the future? Anything new, anything repeat? Do you want to see another booster box opening of a previous set? Um, let me know what you want to see. I am willing to input new stuff into the channel and uh yeah show off some fun things in uh pokemon collecting and while i am closing this out i will bring it on over to me showing my binder tour and yeah
that's been the opening. Peace. All right, and we're back. Uh, this is what a full binder of Paldea Evolved can look like from one booster box. I'm gonna flip through, show off anything that stands out in particular. Um, just like my last binder tour, if I can, I try and put the reverse in the slot. Or if there's a hollow version of that card, then I do the hollow version. Um, just a way that I personally like to show off the collection. There's the Chi Yu EX card right there. And this is without seeing what the little book is that um, comes with the ETB. So I'm not too sure what the checklist is, what cards I'm in particular are missing. But um, I think I filled out the binder pretty well with just one booster box. I love these two cards next to each other, the glare of my light. It's a little, it's throwing it a little off of that right chula or the Pikachu in the middle. There we go. <laughs> Trying to block it with my hand a little bit. Um, my binder for this set as well as uh, Scarlet Violet base set is a little bit different than uh, my other one that I showed off on this channel. It's, you know, one that you could just find at Target with uh, loose card sleeves in them. Uh, I just thought I would get more bang for my buck with it, and uh, also is the only option. But um, I like that you can, you know, open up the binder here and put in more if you so desire more of the pages. So for all these big, big sets, you know, there's there's room to grow with them um, and everything like that. Uh, going into the dark types, see what's going on. I do have it set up where I have one card in each sleeve. Some people do back to back, so they have, you know, a card facing out this way as well. But I thought I would do one per each just so, you know, the cards stay in good condition as well as, you know, everything gets its own little spotlight. Nothing's doubled up or anything like that. It can make a, as you can tell, turning the page is a little tricky, but I think I make it work. Um, and this right here is the end of the regular set. And then I I don't follow the number conventions on my more secret rare um, type pulls or the art rares. I'll try and kind of show those off in particular. There's the Sandy Gas, the Bramblin, the Miss Magius. Um, Super Otis, not part of it until you get to the gold card. Squawkabilly, Lycanroc. And the super rod. Yeah, I don't really put them in any particular order with this just because I don't think I'm going to get the full set like this. I kind of just want to show off with what I got. But uh, yeah, that is my binder for Paldea Evolved with just one booster box as well as what I've opened in the past for um, Scarlet Violet. So yeah, thank you for watching the openings. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you want to see anything different or special in the future. I'd love to hear your input and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.